Hello, my name is Scott Fowler with NW Self-Defense Products. In our other segments, we've talked about deploying the pepper spray and using it on a threat. Today, we're gonna to talk about what if your can doesn't work? You have to have contingencies at all times, especially the way things are nowadays, there might be more than one threat. So if your can doesn't work, or if you didn't have time to get the container out and display it, prior to the threat um, really encroaching your space. So today we're gonna to talk about what do you do so that we can start thinking ahead in case something really bad happens. Hey, you need to get, hey, get back. Stay back, stay back or I'm gonna spray you. Hey, get back, get back, you get back. Get back, get back, get back. You stay back or I'm gonna spray you. We're talking today about employing other options on our body, okay? A lot of people, they think, hey, this is my, my primary or this is my self-defense product that I have and it's the only thing that I have. We have to think differently. There's a lot of other options and all it is is a little bit of training. So one of the strongest options that I have is my legs. If a threat engages real quick, we're at arm's length at this point. I don't have time to draw my pepper spray. So I have to do something else, whether either it's a push or I can use my legs in a front kick position to move him out of the way, okay? If he closes in and we're at just close distance, I can employ that kick. One of two things are gonna happen. It's either going to push him back or it's gonna push us both back. Either way, distance is your friend and that's the most important. At this point, I've created a lot more space where I can draw my self-defense product, I can take those steps back and those lateral steps and still create even more space. One other option that we have, if I have a failure with my pepper spray, if the threat's closing really quick and they're really close, I attempt to spray and this happens, okay? Typically that's gonna happen on an expired can and that's why the expiration dates are so important. If I have this container, I can use it to throw hammer fists and I can use it to strike if I have to. So if the threat was coming at me and nothing happened, I have this. I can throw hammer strikes. If he's moving by, I can throw strikes as well distance is our friend but we have to be thinking what am I going to do in these other situations sometimes I might be surprised and I won't have time to draw that product <laughs>